Now, uh, students, we have finished with the reading of the chapter that is the comet second part. And uh, what did we read in this chapter? That how the scientists, uh, right? Although they had uh, a plan that was the Project Light Brigade ready, and uh, it had uh, started also so as to deviate the comet from its path, so it would not come and collide with the Earth. But by chance, what happened was, yes, comet, it changed or it just went near Earth and it did not collide. Now, when all these things happen and they make us wonder and sometimes they make us think that is it really science at work or our prayers did this miracle? So we performed all those yagyas and pujas and we prayed and uh, we were there always looking at the sky and praying for the comet not to come near, right? Yes, good afternoon, Prabhleen. So do you, what do you think really make such things happen? Is it our prayers or is it our scientific thinking, our scientific approach? Or because it is a natural phenomena only, there is something which are beyond our control, right? So, yes. So sometimes, yeah, we, we have to be prepared for it. It is a scientific thinking. See, yes, our scientific thinking here in this chapter, Dattada, all the scientists, right? They had made a plan because they made all the calculations that if the comet came very close to the earth, Scientific thinking definitely works. Scientific thinking definitely works. Supposing a corona is a chalta reta hai, hum koi baat nahi, apne apne jaise aaye hai, chale jaye and we all remain locked in our houses. Would it have worked? Prayer karo ghar mein baith ke. Is it? Phir chata? No, nothing would have happened. But we need to have this scientific approach. Yes, let's find a way out. Let's find a medicine. Let us find ways of stopping it, controlling it. That is a scientific approach. Isn't it? So we have to make sure that, yes, a, a scientific approach is very, very important. See, even though this was there, it was a very, what you can say, a, a scientific phenomenon that the comet just happened to pass by and did not come and collide with the Earth. But otherwise, the scientists, they were prepared. preparation. They had that project ready and they had a guide timeline, October, November, December, this is what is going to happen. They had made plans, let's attack it, let's create an explosion, let it change its direction, right? So yes, this is the scientific approach, but yes, so it could be our calculations were a little bit wrong or maybe the, the, that the direction it changed, isn't it? Right, so now we have in our society, we have a scientific belief, we have our religious belief, okay? I'm not going to talk about, uh, you know, like here, uh, religious beliefs also, things here only. Now, what do you think here? Our question today is, right, if you look at the screen, we had discussed it about certain religion, th you know, things uh, like um, the Tada's wife performing the yagya. Are they useless or are they useful? Yes. So religious practices here. They give us peace of mind. They give us satisfaction. But okay, we did something. But in the case of a natural natural crisis, are these useful? How are they useful, Kashish? How can they be useful? They're only useful in that they give us a peace of mind. They give us satisfaction. I, I did something, right? So maybe in the long term, its effects would be there. But otherwise, we, all these uh, things will not change any kind of scientific phenomena. Now, apart from that, in our life, we have traditions also, right? So traditions that we follow, the way we do wrong practices are useless. Yes, absolutely correct. So the way we perform our festivals, the way we, you know, like conduct our ceremonies, things that we do, maybe little things in a daily routine also that we do, they are traditions. Now, when we think about it here, yeah, this is our question for today. You can raise your hand. I can unmute you. 
and we are going to have a debate on traditions can make society progress can they so it's a debate right why not why not what are the traditions we are talking about can you tell me yeah, i don't want a yes or no let's have a debate traditions are important part of our life aren't they will our life have any meaning if we let go of our traditions oh what's the use of celebrating this festival it didn't happen nothing of this happened here why should we celebrate it then would a life have any meaning no but following these traditions how how can we change our life how can we become better can we no we can't then why are traditions so important so we should should we forget these uh, traditions so let's forget our traditions let's not follow our traditions because they're not helping our society so why should we stick to them but why are they so important to our society can you tell me come on let's uh, understand yes right very nice so there are certain traditions here like yeah like you have uh, the way we behave uh, right it's been there yeah we greeting our elders we're touching our feet and we have uh, our prayers we have our religions rituals here we perform them accordingly right so wonderful answers i'm getting very nice and uh, so when we celebrate a festival okay so we have a tradition here yes yes absolutely they teach us respect they teach us about our past we are connected with our past they give our life okay they teach us respect then they teach us about our past isn't it right so there are the traditions here are cultures here right yes then uh, we have uh, we are connected we learn our culture so the way we celebrate festivals right uh, like uh, manisha she gave a very good example you know like there are certain traditions here that uh, we have a certain days where we fast right then we have in these months don't eat these things isn't it right so they, these are traditions are they very very important here right so we know that of course in the winter months this is what we should eat and the summer this is what you eat we have days of fasting also and these are with the change in time so these are traditions right and some traditions they have a very scientific explanation to them but yes once again here how important are they they very important to keep us connected they are important to give us a purpose in life isn't it right so we have a festival we have an occasion to celebrate right the farmers have finished with the harvest and they very happy everything has gone well they brought it clean and dry home what to celebrate it's a tradition this is what you do isn't it right yes so it's a change in the season and yes so we have to change our diet we have to change so many things okay yeah and uh, so all, all these things that are happening right so traditions are there very important to make us stay connected to make us you know like uh, yes connected with our roots they teach us so many things and uh, things which were of value isn't it right so when you think about our traditions here about the way we eat the food we eat the diet we have the way we dress up right so certain things that we learn from our grandparents yes right yeah so we have of course we have a days of fasting that right? so that we, our body can adapt to the change in season that is a you know the actual explanation of it that that our body needs to change with the season so that is why we have here like you talk about your navratras you talk about, someone is saying right yes that uh, we are we 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 learn uh, from that so we have one in the what uh, the spring season and one in the autumn season the seasons are changing a food has to change a diet has to change so let's cleanse our body let's give our body a rest let's give it simple food isn't it right so you have a certain days also and yes yeah, so if we do have a certain religious practices or traditional dances are a good exercise also but uh, yeah so you have your celebrations 
right? So whether it's the Bihu or you have Onam and Pongal, Lodi, all these festivals celebrated, the harvest is there. So all the festivals, if you see, there's a reason to celebrate, there's a tradition behind it, there's a practice that we follow. But big question here, yes, celebrations, they make us bond, they make us connect. Isn't it right? That is why if, when we do our uh, celebrations here, why do you think here, like we talk about Diwali, the cleaning of the house, right? Why, why we perform all these things? Or why these things are done in a certain way? It is because they, they have a purpose, right? So following traditions is one thing. Yeah, so uh, right now here, let us just change here our perspective. But if we just follow our traditions, can we move forward? No, because can we change if we just stick to our traditions only? Can we change because of that? By just following our traditions, will our society be? No, definitely we will become better persons. We'll feel happier and better, peace of mind. But yes, so scientific progress is very, very important. So tradition alone cannot make our society change. It is not there. Yes, traditions cannot make our society change, but it keeps us connected. It brings that bonding, right? We learn as a society, as human beings, but science is very, very important, right? So if we had not uh, had a scientific mind, you would not have, uh, you know, like maybe, yes, about the cell theory, you would not have known. We would not have, like astronomers would still be thinking that Earth is the center of the solar system, isn't it? Right, but we have changed the way we look at things. And uh, yes, yeah, so, so many things that we need to change about. So about medicine, some people, they don't take medicines. They will not go to the doctor that, no, I don't know what the doctor is going to do. Some people don't believe in surgeries. Right? So we have to change that. So if science has, yes, because this is, yeah, our, our application, our technology has there, it keeps us connected. It has made us so connected to other parts of the world. Right? So with science, with, you know, a scientific mind, with scientific growth, our society will progress, will move forward with Look at it like nowadays, who would have thought that everything would have become digital? So we're talking about digital here. We, we're learning this way. We have our online transactions. We're doing online shopping. We're booking our tickets online. Everything from the comfort of our home. Isn't it? Right? So all these things are there. So science here. We have changed. We need to change. Right? It doesn't mean that if you have, uh, you know, like uh, you're, you're a scientist, it does not mean you're going to give up your traditions. So having a scientific mind is very, very important for growth, for progress. Yes, we, we are there. Like, see, we talk about pasteurization. We've had penicillin, right? Basic things we've moved upward from. And now we have so many miraculous life-saving surgeries, right? So we are there finding cures for so many things. So this is there, right? So the way we live, the way we behave, so that is very, very important. The scientific temperament is very, very important. And now when we look at poor Dattada, in his family himself, is fine. he is getting this opposition. So he is there, such as, you know, like uh, what an astronomer having a great scientific bent of mind, seeing is believing, but uh, yes, a rational person. But we have his wife, on the other hand, she thinks that prayers and pujas are the only way that can do this. Isn't it? Right? And he thought, she thought that the comet has come and something bad is going to happen. But we don't have such control over such phenomena. Isn't it? So earthquakes happen, tsunamis happen. And uh, yes, yeah, so floods, yeah, floods maybe sometimes we... Uh, they're the cause of it because we have uh, made uh, so many buildings and we have uh, cut down so many trees and we've changed the course of river pollution and obstructions. So, so yes, we, we might be the cause of that. Yes, so for, yeah, yes, for Indrani Devi, Yagya was more important than science and she thinks that her Yagya has changed the course of the comet. 
okay so if we could have done these yagyas and all we could have done them so many months ago and we could have made this uh, covid go away if it would have worked but no we have to be rational we have to think for ourselves right so traditions are they're very very important for us to make us uh, a, a person to have a sense of belonging but we will be better persons if we are scientific so we have people that we feel here what is this mobile phone why to use it so we we need to it's not on the situation only but uh, yeah most of the time i i would think that a scientific bend of mind is very important so sometimes the discoveries which have been made might have been happening by chance and all but it is our determination our persistence which has made us continue right so yes so we have we learn respect we learn about our past we learn about our culture but with yes it cannot change our society so how can we change with with science with growth with adaptation we need to adapt here to all the changing yes yes prayer is very very important it's very very important you know in in a time of our troubles it it, it gives it calms us it gives us peace but sometimes we need to take what help of science so supposing we had not adapted ourselves with the changing the times we were there people who are not adapting or even now everybody is there because they see it is the need of the hour you need to go online you need to be digital you need to know how to use uh, in like uh, the computers and the laptop we will not progress right so this is there and we have their uh, yes but once again science should not take control of our lives so science should not dominate us completely yes so we will be left behind how will we adapt to the changing situation very very important okay so yes so traditions are important for us as a human being but what can bring about a change in society is our scientific mindset yes so no we can't have a balance between both right we we are there sometimes a the scientist is there so a scientist is there is going to perform an important uh, experiment or is going to make an important declaration do you think he won't say his prayers do you think don't think he won't see the blessings of his elders he would isn't it right and uh, but the thing is that yes he has to realize that it is his hard work it's his efforts it's his determination that has brought about this change right so unless and until you do not make efforts you will not get the results so like you sit at home and you think that okay right i heard what a ma'am has said and now i think so i'll be able to get marks right but you don't make efforts you don't take out your books you don't study you don't learn you give pass no you won't isn't it so efforts are very very important okay and that is what can bring about a change in our lives that is what can bring about uh, you know a better situation in our lives right so any other question left let's have a look hard work is the key to success yes absolutely let's see if there's any question left here yes what are some of the things we do to be called traditional define these things useful or useless yeah what what are the things that we what are the things we do to be called traditional the way we celebrate our festivals right yes yeah, so we think on this festival this has to be made so we need to cook this particular food right we have to have these sweets we should dress up in a particular way so like of course uh, isn't it so these are things that we do to be traditional what are the useless things about tradition is there any tradition that you find is useless what are, what are any tradition that you find useless so many traditions are useful but some of them yeah so sometimes uh, we do uh, come across certain rituals and all which you think are not actually relevant yes any tradition that you find useless what is it old practices and uh, right what about this you know like um, in uh, the past like uh, we have here 
uh, the thinking of people, you know, the preference of a male child, isn't it? So tradition was it that uh, you have a male child and he will inherit the property, he will carry on the family name, but with the change in time, what has happened? Yes. So what? The importance of education. I know that don't uh, send uh, people to school. That is there. So certain traditions, uh, there are traditional mindset, which is there. So these things, they need to be changed. And uh, yes, yeah, so only then our society can change. Only then our society can progress. So all the traditions are a beautiful thing, which will keep us together, which will bind us. But right, they, it will not move the society. So some traditions we need to let go of. Equality needs to be achieved, right? We need to progress and not stick to the old mindset, isn't it? So yes, yeah, so these are the things that we would like to learn about and these are things that we like to discuss, okay? Fine.